Hello and welcome to NK Telco Sports. We're here at Wright State University where the Buckeye Central Buckets take on the New Bremen Cardinals. Tonight's game is sponsored by Minster Bank, Sweeterman Pharmacy, Keyhole Pizza, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental, West Staff, Hometown Opportunity, Lamb's Insurance Agency, 21st Century Kitchens, American Trim, Upper Valley Career Center, Fowler's TV, German Farmers Insurance, Francis Furniture, Grand Lake Health, Moran's Refrigeration, NKT Productions, NK Telco Sports, and First National Bank. Thanks to all those great sponsors and welcome to Wright State University. I'm here with Jeff Hench and I'm Greg Burning. Jeff, we're getting ready for <clears throat> the state semifinal action between Two really good teams get here so far, both identical records at 26 and one. Yeah, a whole lot of wins, a whole lot of matches they've won this season, so these teams know how to put it together and get the job done. Buckeye Central defeated a very good carry team for the third time to earn in the regional finals to earn their trip here, so they had to come back and beat a team that's three times in a season, which is tough to do. New Bremen had a little bit of a challenge in their regional finals. They uh, lost their first set to Fort Loramie, a team they beat earlier in the season, but battled back and won the next three, but not before a, a good effort by the Fort Loramie Redskins, a neighboring school. Um, the, the Bremen Cardinals playing some good volleyball right now. Both these teams, you said, 26 and one on the season. The Bremen are first ever state first one. tournament appearance. On the <laughs> other hand, Buckeye Central making their 11th. And I know when we did a regional finals game, the last thing I said is we wouldn't be able to cover the Bremen anymore. And thanks Giant. for the memories, if you will. Well. We're back and we're happy to be here That's at right. the other center. So again, thank you, New Bremen Cardinal volleyball team and, uh, and good luck today in this tough state semifinal match. Great environment here at Wright State. Should be an awesome match and we can't wait to get it started. We'll take a quick commercial break, come back with the starting lineups and the opening serve. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono sound system takes all the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Fowler's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Fowler's TV, taking game day to the next level. When I took over this farm from my dad, I knew our future success required making major changes in our operations. That meant adding acreage, more and bigger equipment, investing in powerful technology, hiring employees. We even started a seed business. Fortunately, working together with Grinnell Mutual and my local farm mutual, my agent was able to cover everything. I call that progress. Welcome back to Wright State University as we get set for our starting and non-starting players here for the new Bremen Cardinals. As we mentioned, they come in 26 and one on the season. So you see there's number zero, Blake Snyder. She's the starting little libero. Number two, Abby Teeman. Number six, Abby Paul. Number seven, Rachel Kramer. Number nine, Julia Guttemiller, number eight, Macy Putoff, and number 10, Paige Jones. Cardinals coached by Diana Kramer. As Jeff mentioned before, first time here at the state semifinals for the Cardinals. And on the other side, the Buckeye Central Buckets. They've been here, what, 11 times? Not unfamiliar to being here, but the last time I believe was like back in 2007? 2012. 2012, thank you, Jeff. As they get set for their starting lineups, they're coached by Jacqueline Nye. So number six, sorry, number four, Addie Ackerman. Number two, Emily Stump. Number 14, Lydia Ackerman. Number five, Jenna Carl, and number eight, Lexi Evac. As we get set here for the opening set. 
And Something Greg, on. both these teams we've talked about, obviously the records are pretty good. Very good, actually. New Bremen comes in, a very good attacking team with 13 kills per set. Buckeye Stars are not too far behind. They're at 12 and a half, so pretty much even in that battle. Serving New Bremen again, they like to serve aggressive. They earn just over three kills per set. Buckeye Central, interesting fact, earn two, which is a little bit less, but they serve as a team 95%, so they will force you to play the ball. And blocking both teams very consistent there as well. New Bremen comes in 1.6 per contest or per set. Buckeye Central just under that at 1.4. So I think New Bremen's ability to stay aggressive, they serve aggressively, they'll take a few lumps here, balls in it out of bounds, but they're gonna bank that more times than not. Right. Your first touch, if it isn't an ace, it might run you out of your offense, out of your system and force your setter to chase it down and not give you a good attack over. Buckeye Central, the good serving, we'll see once how aggressively they go at it, but they do serve the ball, they keep it in play on their serves, do Buckeye Central. Big time environment here as you see the Cardinals getting ready to go. I'm sure some nerves uh, settling in here. They're settling for me and I'm not even playing, so. Just have to relax, Greg. That's breathe, right, I'll try. Breathe, take big breaths, and what's key for Bremen is to probably just do that, is relax and uh, enjoy the moment. This is it, this is what. That's right, it's what you what, played for. This is what 26 wins will do. Here we go, number four, Addy Ackerman serving it up for the Buckets. Bremen on the attack, they're gonna go right to Jones. And that's a picture we hope to see a lot of today as she starts the Cardinals off the right way. Seven kills per set, a 420 hitting percentage. Another look at it here, a good start. You see the tail end of it there, but the first part of it was very good. And I don't think you can prepare for that. <laughs> I don't think they were quite ready for that one. Jones hits that into the net. And that's what we talked about, the serving. They're definitely not gonna shy away from their serving. 283 kill, or aces, I'm sorry. That's good for just over, yep, good for three, over three a set. And Jones leads the team with 106 on the season. Good one there coming from number two, Emily Stump. She'll get an ace for the Buckets. Again, of the six servers for the Buckets, no one under 93% on the season. So that tells you they keep the ball in play and see once if it's aggressive and you know, that again, a kind of a velocity driven serve. That one pushed over by Gutta Miller. Here come the Buckets. Pushed across, nice save by Jones. Popped up and can't quite recover as that one's gonna drop. And the Buckets got an early three to one advantage here in set number one. Saw a little bit of this, like you said, against Fort Laramie. New Raymond traditionally struggles a little bit out of the gate. I think a lot of that, like you said, hard aggressive serving. As Kramer puts one across, here come the Buckets. This is pushed over by number five. And a tough go at it there. That kill's gonna be given to Jenna Carl for Buckeye Central. Carl, the leading attacker on the Buckhead squad. She comes in at 3.7 per set kill. So a good hitter is Jenna Carl. Stump again with the serve. Bremen trying to end the run. Kramer will dump it over. Buckeye Central able to recover and free ball it across. Nice play there by Snyder. She watches that one go out of bounds and the Cardinals able to stop the run. Right idea by number 20, Bailey. Again, she saw the corner and free ball, but just landed out of bounds. And like you said, good read by Snyder as well, not to play it, take the easy point, if you will. Macy put off now to serve. That one will catch the top of the tape. Five to two on top of our first National Bank scoreboard in favor of Buckeye Central. New Bremen, you mentioned their aggressive serving, 87% as a team serving. So again, not awful, but two big ones here early in the set number one. Serve from Capel, dug up by Jones. Backs that over to Guttemiller. Guttemiller's dug up by Stump in the back row. Pushed across and miss hit by Lexi Evac. Miss hit or not, she dropped it in there for the kill. She's a six foot sophomore. I'm guessing she's six feet tall. She's gotta be up, we don't have her exact height, but she's one of the taller ones out there. She's just a sophomore, averaging two and a half kills per set. And again, the off speed attack there drops for the six Buckets point. That one miss hit by Kramer, and the Buckheads take an early advantage here. And you can definitely see, I think, what we saw against Larmy in the regional final. It just looked uncomfortable yet, trying to get settled in here. And Coach Kramer gonna take a timeout. We'll take a quick break as well. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. NK Telco Sports. 
More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1-888-NK-TELCO and get in the game. It's a good shot of Coach Diana Kramer and the Cardinals. Her Cardinals coming out a little sluggish here, trail 7-2 in our first set. A good timeout after a great you know, first point of the set match or set. They've struggled and have been outscored 7-1. And they go good back to out. Jones. Good timeout. She gets the kill. Her second of the first set. The Cardinals looking to get a little something going here as Pape, Madison Pape comes back to the service line for the Cardinals. And Claire Pape will check in at the front row. Pape serving the ball 92% on the season. First successful serve for the Cardinals. That one dug out by Pape. Nice track down there and pushed across by Jones. Good save on the other side by the Buckets. Smacked across again, dug up by Jones. They're gonna go back to Paul as the Buckets recover and here is Evac and she'll drop one in there. So good start for Evac on the night. Yeah, the six foot sophomore, two kills already. And they end that Bremen attempt, if you will, on a run and Bremen gets a point on the kill from Jones, gets a successful serve in. But uh, quickly, Evac's kill gives the ball and the point back to Buckeye Central. That one dug up by Kramer. They push it down the middle to Jones. She dumps it across, dug up nicely by the Buckets. Here's Evac on the slide as they're going to call her a net violation against New Bremen. Nice dig by Snyder, but it will go for Nod on the violation. A third kill by Evac on the slide offense. And Bremen struggling here out of the gate. This serve pushed over by Songer. Going to go quick hit, blocked at the net. Picked up by Pape, but down in the net again. So great start here by the Buckets. New Bremen just looked like they really, the timing's off. Can't get things started here on the right track. Well, just serving, obviously he's hurt them a bit, and they've just been able not to make a good first touch and get in their offense. Here's Jones down the middle. That one's well wide. And the Cardinal struggles here continue in set number one. Back to service, Songer. Dug up by Kramer, pulled out by Paul, hit across by Jones. Nice dig by Agin for the Buckets. Pape. Snyder, now Jones hits it across. So far the Lady Buckets get into a lot of balls. That one's gonna come off of a tip and down for another kill. Jenna Carl, her second kill, and you talk about top quality players on these teams. Both Jenna Carl, number five, and Paige Jones, first team all Ohio. The timeout on the floor. We'll keep it right here. I'd like to thank our sponsors for today's action Fowler's TV, German Farmers, Francis Furniture, Grand Lake Health, Moran's Refrigeration, Minster Bank, Sweeterman's Pharmacy, Keyhole Pizza, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental, West Staff. Hometown Opportunity, Lamb's Insurance Agency, 21st Century Kitchens, American Trim, NKT Productions, and Upper Valley Career Center. Thanks to all those great sponsors. I'd like to also mention that at the conclusion of this game, Jeff and I will name a player of the game that's sponsored by NK Telco. You mentioned a player, of, um, sorry, the All-Ohio with Jones, first team, and also Jenna Carl. Both those players were player of the year in their league. Paige Jones, player of the year in the Midwest Athletic Conference, the MAC, and also Jenna Carl in the Northern 10 Conference, player of the year. Back to live action, here's Songer serve, picked up by Jones, pushed back to Jones at the 10 foot line. She dumps it across, and it's still good effort there by the Buckets. They get it across. Bremen's gonna have a good chance here. They push it back to Jones again. And another nice dig in the back row, that one by Stump. They free ball it across. New Bremen back on the attack. Jones pops it up for Pape. She dumps it across. It's blocked at the net by number eight, Evac. With everything going the way of the Buckets here in the first set. Great defense by the Buckets. New Bremen, some good attacks. They're able to dig them up, free ball them over, and then Evac and also Carl go up for the blocks to get the termination point. Nice dig there by Agin. Buckets back on the attack. Nice save by Pape, pushed across by Snyder. Back set to Evac. 
on the roll off the tip of the net. It drops. Four kills for Lexi Evac. A great start for the six foot sophomore. And again, rhythm, timing, the 50 50 balls, everything seems to be in the Buckets' favor they, right now. They are currently on a 7 0 run. New Bremen looking to put a stop to that. They'll go back set to Pape. Picked up in the back row, overplay, mishandled. That's kind of been the story right there. That, I think that says it all for New Bremen. Timing off as that one's mishit by Kramer. Everyone trying to make the big play and just the timing off as you mentioned and just a little stuck right now on the heels. No, nothing yep. really going easy for the Cardinals. They'll have to try to find, their, find that answer. Find some rhythm and there is Jones. And she urges on her team to get started on the right track as they trail here in the first set, four, 15 to four. And down nine with just 10 to go, it's a huge hole. It you is. Hope that at least the timing and the confidence, you know, you hate to lose set one, but if you're going to, get some rhythm, you know, get make a charge on you. Yeah, get yourself back on track for that next game, and that one sails way out of bounds. Five errors, I'm sorry, seven errors, two hitting, three serving, and two unforced have attributed this almost half of the Buckeye Central points. Short serve, picked up by Kramer. Tipped back over to Jones. She'll bump it across, pulled up in the back row by Songer. Buckets knock it back across. And I feel like we've seen that just, just tipped every time at the net. They've not really hit the ball super hard, but they hit it in good places. And yeah, it's just come a, off a new Riemann blocker. Quite around a bit. the block, and just enough, finds the hole. Carl with her third kill. There's Jones pushing one across and down for the kill. Getting on top of the ball there was Jones. and. You know, they've had some good shots. DeBrima's had some decent, now they've committed some errors, but they've also had some good swings, and Buckeye Central just playing really good defense, keeping the ball alive. Here's Paul with the serve. Dug out by Songer, pushed right up to the net, good pass. Nice dig there by Kramer. Pop back up to Pape to Jones. Jones down the all far sideline and in. No consecutive serves. You can't get them all back at once, but one at a time. Volleyball is a game of emotion and momentum, Greg. We've seen that well documented through this tournament run that games we've covered. Yeah, even just in the last match with Ursuline and uh, Kaufman. Ursuline yes. making a great comeback to win in the fifth set as that one goes into the net. So the Bremen trying to get some momentum started here as they now trail 17-7 here at set number one at Wright State University. Paul trying to keep things going for New Bremen. She's their second leading ace server on the year for New Bremen. That one pushed across. Dug up by Kramer. Pushed over to Jones. Jones on the attack. Uh, Egan gets a piece of it. And a nice save by the Buckeye Central defense. Pushed back to Jones. Tipped at the net. Uh, another good save. That one by Songer. New Bremen again on offense. Push it real quick to the net. Blocked. Pape back to Jones. Across it, dug up again by Songer. Buckeye Central not making any point easy here. New Bremen looking for a kill. Back set to Pape. Goes across for a second, blocked back to the New Bremen side. Jones, deep. And the Buckets, perseverance, good block by New Bremen at the net. Another one, that one comes off the tape and out of bounds, so New Bremen. Wow. I saw that one was right in front of us, and if you're going to catch a bad break, well, hopefully it's here in the first set because I don't see how that hit anybody. The official calls that on a block. It clearly hit the tape and went out of bounds, but Tough regardless, right, yeah. that one goes to Buckeye Central. Long volley. Buckeye Central does get the point. And Jones coming right back. Six kills for Jones already and beginning to crank up. She's had some good attempts again. Buckeye Central makes it very frustrating when you start hitting those good swings that used to maybe go down your first try. Right. They're making you do it consistently two or three times to try to get the point. Here's Teeman serving for New Bremen. Trailing by 10 here in set number one. You can see a, a, a pattern for Buckeye Central. They definitely like to run that wheel route or that slide. Blocked at the net there by put off. Back on the Bremen side, they're gonna get a good opportunity here. Back set way over Jones's head. And out of bounds. Again, not plays we're used to seeing New Bremen make. That's a pretty typical. That was a tough play and a set, the bump set too far out. Right. Nothing they could do with it to attack. The eighth New Bremen error. Again, almost half of the Bunkai Central points have come on New Bremen mistakes. 
Here's Jones right down the middle. Three blockers, takes on all of them, and still gets the kill. Seven blocks, or seven kills, I should say. And that one, yeah, threw a, probably 30 fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Jones on the serve, picked up by Egan, nice save. And again, off the block, that shot coming from Stump. Stump, a second leading attacker for Buckeye Central. Three and a half kills per set, gets her third of set number one. Emily Stump will go back to serve for Buckeye Central. They lead 20 to nine here in set number one on our first National Bank scoreboard. Jones with the dig, teaming, back set to Guttemiller. Guttel Miller's picked up in the back row by Stump and free balled over in the Bremen side. Teaming with the set over to put off and again dug up by Stump. Blocked at the net there by Kramer. Back set, far side, dug up by Schneider. Bremen looking to get their offense going. Set it over to Jones and down it goes. Eight kills for number 10. Still though, you watch a good rhythm here and the good strong attack. It's Jones has been put on a little bit of a fireworks show here. Mary's been some yeah. really good swings and hard driven points. You think the momentum's there, you look up, they still trail by 10. Yeah, they dug it's, themselves quite a hole here in the first set. Been tough to gain any ground. There's a blocked attempt there by New Bremen. Drops though for a kill. Jenna Carl, it's just buckets, not making any mistakes. New Bremen, you know, there's a chance ball to the net. You try to block it or keep it alive and it just falls. It's, you know, you wish you could maybe do it over, but you can't. Nice eyes by Jones. First That's service there again. You don't see the buckets with many of those right. with the 95 and a half percent or 95 percent team accuracy. You just they just don't make mistakes serving the ball. They force you to play it. Still at that 10 point advantage at 21 to 11. Served by Pate, picked up by Stump. Here's Ackerman. We're going to see our first, I believe, double hit. And that goes against the Buckeye Central Buckets. So Pape to serve again for New Bremen. Picked up in the back row. Knocked off of a blocker again. New Bremen, little miscommunication. Snyder can't get to it as that ball comes right into our viewing area. And Buckeye Central back up by 10 as Claire Songer will step in to serve. The Buckeye Central got on top early, Greg, and they yep. just have not let New Bremen build that momentum, that energy. Boy, good defense. They aren't going to come up with that one, but they get, a, they get a touch on it. It'll go for Paige Jones' ninth kill of set one. Yeah, well, and it's tough to build momentum when you know you're down 10. It's late in the set. It's hard to dig yourself back into it because you don't feel that, hey, point back and forth and get real excited about it, right? Because you know you're trailing by so much. So it makes it tough. So New Bremen trying to get something going here is a misplay by Buckeye Central. Rachel Kramer will get credited for an ace off the misplay. Just the first service ace. More miscommunication by Buckeye Central probably, but yep. the first ace for the Cardinals who averaged just over three per set. Another good serve by Kramer, pushed up front by Buckeye Central, and pushing it across is Carl. New Bremen, good defense, go over to Jones, and down again. Paige Jones having a good start to the first set. As New Bremen creeps a little closer, now just down seven. Kramer to serve again. Egan able just to get a handle on a nice pass from Songer, picked up by New Bremen. Back set over to Paul. She'll get against the block and dig it out. Jones will go on one. A nice dig though by Songer. Evac, and it, I, I can't even say it again. It's happened so many times in this set. And I know if things go your way, the ball just catches a little bit of a Bremen hand and drops for another kill for Evac. Right where nobody's at. Wasn't hit that strongly, but it was hit where nobody was at. Jones bringing that one down. 11 kills. I don't know what the record is for a three game set, but she might get it in set one on her own. <laughs> I think this kills I think it's for 18, a, right? A three set record is 18 for division four. Jones obviously more concerned about the victory. Good Not true. concerned about the record, but uh, off to a good start attacking the ball. Here's New Bremen back on the attack. They go to Jones. Off the block, picked up in the back by Carl. 
Here is Evac. She won't catch a break on that one as it rolls the along the tape and goes out of bounds. And New Bremen trailing 23-17 in set number one. Buckeye Central going to take a timeout. We'll take one as well. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. The big game is right around the corner. Are you ready for it? Come into Francis Furniture and find the right fit for you and your friends in our Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. With Lazy Boy Premier Sofa and Sectionals, you can custom order a look that's just your style. Choose from hundreds of decorator fabrics or choose genuine leather for its luxurious feel and durability. Come into Francis Furniture today, the area's only Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. Welcome back to Irvin J. Nutter Center here at the University of Wright State as we are a little, just a while, just about done with the first set and New Bremen coming out pretty sluggish but starting to get things rolling here now as they trail 23-17. Dug a 10 point deficit and they're basically battled to try to get into that. It's late in a the set, they've, they've cut it down to six, a big point here and again, if you can't win it, at least get some momentum. And there's an ace from Taylor Paul. We talked about it. It's hard to build momentum, but it's starting to, you can feel it coming now as New Raven is starting to put it together a little better here late in the first set. And some good serving here by Taylor Paul helping out. That 10-point deficit now cut into half. Paul served, picked up by Carl. Backs it over. There's that wheel route. And again, it's Evac. Evac, a nice first set herself. And again, a lot of those kills, six of them, many of them coming on that wheel route to slide. Six foot tall, sophomore, pretty lengthy and uses that to her advantage and difficult to stop that attack. Megan here looking to serve it out for Buckeye Central. New Bremen looking to keep it going and Jones will do just that. We can put our score at 19 to 24 in favor of Buckeye Central here in set number one. Teeman and Guttermiller will check back in for the Cardinals. Came in with the serve, short serve, picked up by Buckeye Central and pushed across. Back on the attack, New Bremen. Here's Gutta Miller, catches the tape, dug out by Buckeye Central, blocked at the net by Putoff and Gutta Miller for the termination. And New Bremen not giving up on this one as they trail 20 to 24. Good net play again, momentum. And there's no, there's nothing that says I can't win set one yet, but definitely playing cleaner are the Cardinals. Again, another wheel route there. It's been a pretty steady pattern for Buckeye Central. That one picked up by Songer. Jones at the net, able to knock it down for the kill. And New Bremen momentum continuing. Like they trail now just by three. Things starting to go their way. You'll see the, the, the attack by Jones and then Eventually the solo block, good plays. We're back to go to live action. Blocked again at the net. Back on, blocked again by Jones and back on Bremen's side. She pushes it across and down. And Just, just like that, it's two points. Give her the 13th kill. Couple Maybe she touches. will get the record, the first set. <laughs> it's 18 in division four, that's we go Ooh. overtime, but I like what we're seeing now. Bremen playing, let's say, Cardinal volleyball, if you will. Lots of emotion going. Here's the wheel again. They're picking it up. Gutta Miller with the dig. Backs that over to Jones. And it's down almost. Nice my, a little ahead of myself. Egan picks it up. And there's the final kill for set number one as Buckeye Central will take it. 25-22. We'll be back after this commercial with set number two. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. At Joint Township District Memorial Hospital, your comfort and care is our number one priority. Our surgical nerve blocks are a great way to reduce pain and can be used for arm, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, and foot surgeries. The nerve blocks decrease the stress of surgery on your body, requires less anesthesia and pain medications, and in many cases can offer relief for several days. Visit GrandLakeHealth.org for details on all of our services. Moran Refrigeration in St. Mary's is celebrating 70 years in business. We are committed to offering you top name brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid, Samsung, Fisher & Paykel, and Speed Queen. 
Come in and experience the one-on-one -on -one personal service that you won't get from big box stores. Our delivery and installation specialist will assure you that your purchases arrive safely and are installed properly. Grand Refrigeration, exceeding your expectations. Welcome back to the University, Wright State University, as we get set for set number two here at the state semifinals. The Buckeye Central Buckets take the first one, but New Bremen started to look a lot better there late in the first set. Well said. Started off miserably, if you will. The 10 point deficit came back, really made it interesting at the end. Finished the first set with 13 kills. All 13 of them came from Paige Jones. 15 kills for Buckeye Central, six from Lexi Evac. Four apiece from Jenna Carl and Emily Stump, and one from Courtney Pfeiffer for their total of 15. The eight errors New Bremen committed, Greg, in that first set really attributed to a lot of those Buckeye yeah. Central points early on. And they were real early, all of early them. Early on, it was like, almost like Buckeye Central was playing good defense, but New Bremen was helping them give some points. They opened up this second game with another service error. They had three in set number one, their first here. Tough way to start, but I like how New Bremen finished. Yeah. I think the energy level is with the Cardinals. If they can get it into the offense. Back set over to Guttermiller. Blocked at the net. Picked up by New Bremen. Jones back set. Kramer picks it across. Buckeye Central on the attack. Blocked at the net and down. Macy put off with the termination. And a big lift New Bremen needed there. We got a break. Uh, not, got a little bit out of offense. Uh, the set almost went to no one. Had yeah. to free ball it over. It's like, well, this isn't how we <laughs> yeah. wrote it up. But they're able to get the... The block, I missed the, who was up there with her, but it was put off by herself. Good mm. serve by Paul. I'm sorry, it was put off. A shot far wide and out of bounds. So New Bremen on top here early in set number two, two to one. And right now, everyone almost feels like they're holding their breath on the serve. <laughs> you just want it to get in because you know you can do some good things, but yet they like to serve aggressive and try to make it difficult right now. Just. The timing a bit off, yep. it's a difficult thing. They want to hit it hard, they want top spin. At some point maybe, you know what, let's see what our defense can do, make their offense go to town and, and earn the points. Capel serving for Buckeye Central, picked up by Jones. Set over to Paul. Paul over the block and down. So big point there from Taylor Paul. Just a sophomore, averaging just under a kill per set, a big one there to Get New Bremen back on top, three to two, and see once of a serve. You know, New Bremen can get the ball in play here. Madison Pate, good serve, picked up by Carl. Back to Carl, hits it far side, picked up by Jones. They're going to go right back to Jones, dumps it over the block and in. Good start for New Bremen here, much better than the start of the first set as they lead four to two. Jones again recognizing doesn't always have to be 100 miles an hour. Use that top spin attack, put it right in front of the back row of the defense. Here is Carl again, blocked at the net, but down on the New Bremen side, so Carl will get credit with the kill. Carl's fifth kill of the match, had four in set number one. Remember I mentioned she was first team All-Ohio, also her teammate, the setter, Addie Ackerman, was third team All-Ohio. Jones here with the dig off the serve shot down the far side and it will drop for another kill jones her second of the set mentioned as well that she also Paige jones first team all ohio joining her was rachel kramer who earned second team all ohio both coaches greg earned honors as well diana kramer was coach of the year and jacqueline nye reserved the coach's achievement award that shot from evac Looked to be out of bounds, but called in on the back. We can't really see that far sideline real well. Close play, close play. Kramer with the save, go right to Jones down the middle. Songer gets a handle on it, and it's pushed across by Carl. Kramer with the dig. Pate sets it over to Jones. Jones right into Songer's wheelhouse and down for the kill. It was a good effort by number three, Songer. She deflected one on a... Jones almost like cross hit the first time. Right. This time Jones went right at her and Songer couldn't deflect it, if you will, back into play. Three quick kills here early for Jones. Taylor Paul served, picked up by Songer. Pushed over to number two, Stump. Dug up by Paul. They're gonna go back to Jones. She'll push it deep. 
And Buckeye Central able to get a handle on it. And there is Evac again able to get the kill. What a nice defense by the Buckettes. I thought Jones's push to the back corner was dropped. Jenna Carl made a statement on why she's all Ohio. A heck of a defensive play. And I think Nebreman a little flat footed, didn't expect Evac's attack to come over the way it did. And it dropped for a fifth Buckettes point. Jones pushes that to the back row, dug up by Songer. And here is Carl. Picked up by Pape, Bremen side. Back set over to Jones. Jones across the double block and in for the kill. That's not an easy shot. And she gets it through two double blockers on a tough angle for a kill. Well, unofficially, that's 17 kills for Paige Jones. The record in Division Four for a three game set <laughs> is 18. The overall record is 25 in a three game set. And Bremen hopes that if she's on break the record, it'll be a four game set because they've got to go four to win the match, losing the first one. Here is Jones, pushes out one of the far corner. Carl with the dig and going to be free ball across. Good chance here for New Bremen. Team and back to Jones, blocked at the net by number two, Emily Stump. Nice defense again there by. Heck of a block. Yes, yeah, Stump and also um, Addy Ackerman or Ackerman went up together. I believe it was Stump, probably more of the physical contact, but. That's a tough task to not only make contact, but deflect it downward, especially when the ball's hit that hard. Bremen back on the attack. Here is Jones across the block and down. Ackerman did not want any piece of that one as New Bremen still hangs on to a two-point advantage here in second set, eight to six. I've said it before, maybe a game you and I had, Greg, as Jones will start her second rotation, gets her first serve over of the night. Snubsh mentioned the Jones power you know, that, that'll drop. And that's what I was talking about in the first set. All those little tippy plays went and Buckeye was, Central's way. Yeah, and now put the, off, I believe it was, correct? Yep, on the, yep. But you talk about Jones, that velocity, when she hits it out of the front row, or even the back row, she's almost hitting it right at the net. What do you think that speed of the ball is coming at? I mean, that's, that's coming at those girls on the defensive side, and they're, yep. they're, they're within five feet to 10 feet of it, trying to make a reaction play. To, to defend it and you know you talk about major league baseball players throwing 100 mile an hour fastballs from 60 feet and six inches or girls softball underhand from what 50 feet or 45 I mean, that's tough to read but here obviously there's not much reaction time Buckeye Central able here to keep the rally going New Bremen now on the attack here's Jones across the double but she just done that from the beginning right all these hard hit balls well like I said I don't know what the defense does when they see she's getting a set you've got to be thinking okay protect my face yeah and then you're, you're backing up you're expecting to absorb it and it just never gets there so again the, the ball is now from the Bremen beginning to bounce their way a little bit they're earning it don't get me wrong they're making a good attacks but look good. that's the stuff that happened in the Bremen in the first game that's right there's some good defense there as that one doesn't clear and the Bremen now pushed out to a five-point lead will lead to a timeout We'll take one as well. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Welcome back to Wright State University as the Green Bay Cardinals now lead here in the second set, 10 to six after losing the first one. Boy, if you go back to game one, Greg, where they dug that hole, I think your scores, I know it was at one time maybe 17 to seven or something like that, maybe 15 to five, you know, they've really, come back and outscored the Buckets now in this kind of the same time frame. So they've turned it around, they've been making plays. They have just two errors. Remember that first game, they started yeah. off with a lot of errors. It was actually uh, 17 to four, just so you know, in that first set wow. so that they dug out of. So really been playing much better volleyball. Good shot there from Macy Putoff, dug up by Buckeye Central, free ball to cross. Good chance here again for New Bremen. Quick set, Kramer dug up by Carl. Quick set back by the Buckets will drop, and that is Emily Stump with a good vision. 5'8", senior Emily Stump getting just what Coach Jacqueline Nye needed following that timeout, and that's a point and the ball back. They do that, 
find themselves still down by four. So a, go a good play there by Buckeye Central. 11 to seven in favor of New Bremen here in the second set. This one's set up for Jones and it's down again. Well, being down here on the floor, Greg, you know, compared to some other venues where we sit up top, that ball just look, looks like it's coming right at you in the top spin, just bam, it just dives. I mean, it's, In a hurry, yeah, for as much just, velocity that's on it, it dives quick. Falls off the table. Don't Hagen. know the quite physics of how the ball's spinning and that, Greg, when all that equals out, the ball drops and makes it very difficult to stop. And there's a nice shot there from uh, Taylor Paul for the kill. As New Bremen keeps rolling on here in the second set, now leading 13 to seven. Two kills for Taylor Paul. Good second set for her. Here is Macy Putoff with the serve, catches the top of the net. Carl picks it up and knocked across there by number 18, Pfeiffer. Here is Guttemiller across the block and it goes out of bounds. So Julia Guttemiller credited for the kill. Guttemiller along with Putoff and Paul getting kills other than Jones in set. Remember in game number one, Jones the only one to get, record any kills, but she did have 13 of them. That one sails deep and out of bounds. Third service error of game number two for Nebremen. You see Evac who was sitting out for a few of those points. The big center they got for Buckeye Central checks back in and here is Capel serving. Picked up by Jones. Back set to Guttemiller. Guttemiller through the block again and out of bounds. It's like a mirror play, the last one again. So nice job by the senior, Julia Guttemiller, to record her second kill of the night. And I just now realize the official, I guess official stats, if you will, Greg, are on the board. Jones with 21 kills. I had her maybe for one extra one, but like I said, more important right now for the Cardinals to win game two and climb back into this match. And there is Evac who just checked back in. Gets a kill for Buckeye Central. Her eighth kill. New Bremen up here 15 to nine. That'll send number three, Claire Songer, back to serve for Buckeye Central. Dug up by Jones, Pape with the set, back to Jones. And that was gonna sail deep and out of bounds. Good offense by New Bremen, unfortunate. Attack went long, but boy, got a good first touch and the set was nice, Jones just didn't get enough on top, and again, she doesn't make many hitting mistakes, very efficient, she gets, doesn't take much to earn a kill for her usually, one swing and done. Here's a set back over to Paul, picked up by Carl, quick set at the net, dumped over by Evac. Jones back sets this one to Paul, she dumps it across the block and down. Taylor Paul with another nice play at the net. 5'8", sophomore Greg, three kills here in set number two. Again, taking some of the, maybe the pressure, I'm not sure it's sure. pressure, but you know, some other attacker that the Buckeye Central must be aware of. Now, the Bremen in that first set had some attacks from other players, but the defense very good on Buckeye Central, able to make the plays and keep those alive. But Taylor Paul here, three kills in set number two. That'll send Rachel Kramer back to serve for New Bremen. Serve picked up by Agan, tracked down, and blocked at the net by Jones off of Evac. So, Paige Jones will get credited with a termination, and now New Bremen up by seven. Jones, who averages about a half a block a set, has recorded a block in each set tonight. Kramer again with the serve. Songer passed over to Carl. Carl pushes it across. New Bremen with the dig, back set over to Jones. Jones, far side again, dug up by Egan. Nice play on her part. Carl again. Cross court shot is called out of bounds. Well, it was really close. No touch. And the Bremen defensive <laughs> player dove for it, couldn't get it. 18 to 10 will lead us to a timeout. We'll take one as well after the replay here at Wright State University. You're watching high school volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaise County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. 
Welcome back to Wright State as we get set back into action here in set number two. New Bremen taken out to an 18 to 10 advantage. Played much better here in the second set. Coach Diana Kramer in her second year at New Bremen. Yeah, her team playing much better set number two. Coach Jacqueline Nye, her third season, seeing her team kind of go through what New Bremen did a little bit. Although New Bremen in the first set had so many errors. Right. Um, Buckeye Central has played pretty clean. It's just New Bremen is coming up with, you know, they're earning their points. And Buckeye Central, though, at times, really making New Bremen work at it. Here's Jones off the block, gets a kill. Well, you can see that one getting teed up. And when you when she gets a set that close to the net, yeah, it, she it, got blocked once before, but it doesn't did. happen very often. Whether it's at the net or even attacking from the back row, sometimes this might be even harder because she's running and can kind of float through the air and get around the blocker a little bit easier, but very difficult to, to, to uh, stop, especially when the set's really good, and yep. that's the case that we've seen here as of late. And you can tell why Addie Ackerman, I believe you said she was the other one that got all state honors. You can tell why. She gets to a lot of balls that are not past that good, and she gets them Runs to her down. Yeah, she does. And they run a 5-1, so she's their, she's their setter as Addie Ackerman, third team all Ohio. She wears yeah. number four and she does all the, uh, she runs the offense. That's right. That one hitting the net from Kramer. Manu Raymon up to 20 now, leading 20 to 11. Short serve, picked up by Kramer. Set to the far side by Pape, can't get a hand on it. And a little drop for a point for Buckeye Central. That'll bring number five, Jenna Carl back to serve for Buckeye Central. Big point here for New Bremen, get the ball back, get to that 21st point where you only need four more to go. That one's in. That's a good place to go to when you need a good point. Jones with the kill. 21-12, so just four points to go. And New Bremen would like to finish strong here. Don't give Buckeye Central any life, if you will. Finish strong and get on to game three with a lot of momentum, a lot of energy. Taylor Paul with the serve, a nice one. Picked up by Songer deep though. Buckeye Central gonna have to just bump it across. New Bremen. Pape, back set to Pape, it's blocked. A good answer by Buckeye Central, blocked there by number two, Stubbs, and also number uh, eight, Lexi Evac, to keep it on the Buckeye Central side. Mentioned the 5-1 offense that Buckeye Central runs. New Bremen runs a 6-2, so they use two setters coming out of the back row. And one of them is, is Pape, or I'm sorry, Jones will keep it alive with the Buckeye Central, wow. And Buckeye Central gonna play that one out to a point on a miss hit by New Bremen. What a great save by their defense. And now trail by seven. Madison Pape right now setting. She'll wear number 11. She'll come out of the back row. And then likewise, when she goes to the back row, Abby Teeman will come in. Jones. And Jones able to record another one. Well, unofficially now, I believe she's at 24. So she is whew, taking care of well, that was a three-set no, record. So blew that three-set record yeah, out. Find out what the four-set is, but still, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm sure New Bremen more impressed. Oh, right idea, just yeah. six inches short. Well, I'm sure they'd rather see less of those kind of errors as they bump one into the net. Again, they're being very gracious here. That's eight of the 15 points they've given on in errors. Back-to-back -back sets, right? Yeah, they had eight in the first set, which a lot of those were early, and that's when New Bremen trailed. Fortunately here, they've been able to get on top but um, Buckeye Central, that one hits the, the antenna. One. Buckeye Central has you know, been playing well, but also New Bremen's been helping them out a little bit and getting them a little bit of life here. And I was just gonna say, you can just feel that energy that just got back because New Bremen made a couple mistakes. They had them down in a at large deficit. Yeah, had them in a tough spot as Jones slams one home there. But you said it before, you know, you don't, you, you want to carry that momentum as you see the replay here. You want to carry that momentum into the next set and you don't want to give your op opponent any momentum as Jones smacks another one home. 23-16 here in set number two, Jones serving. Stubbs, you back set it to Stubbs as she hits that one wide and out of bounds. Stubbs really trying to, or not Stubbs, but Stump trying to go down Stump, the line. Yeah. A difficult shot that right corner and it went out of bounds. Game point. Jones with the short one here, times it off, screws Buckeye Central timing up a little bit, chance to put it out right here. They go back to Jones, it's Egan able to get a hand on it, it's almost still in play slightly, and it 
can't quite get it across, and that'll do it for set number two. It goes to the New Bremen Cardinals 25-16. We'll be back with set number three. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Trust us. NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Welcome back to Wright State University as we get set for the third set. Buckeye Central took the first one. New Bremen responded in great fashion, took the second. And we get set for a, what should be a good third set. New Bremen, I want to say played cleaner. They still had nine errors. That's one more than they had in set one. Cleaner early, right? Right, they played cleaner, got the lead, and then we're in the driver's seat, and then kind of you know, made it a little bit more confident, but still had a number of errors. But they do finish the match with three extra kills, and they did in set number one. Set number two, New Bremen, 16 kills compared to just five. There's your difference. They kept Buckeye Central kind of without many kills. In set number two, Jones had 10 kills, three from Taylor Paul, two from Julia Guttermiller, and one from Macy Putoff for their total of 16. And remember, just five kills for the Buckettes. They were led by Lexi Evac with three. So offensively, New Bremen in control. Game number two, more aggressive on offense, but still, there were some points there. And Greg, it took him two or three, sometimes four, volleys, if you will, because of the defense by Buckeye Central. Here's Evac on the wheel, picked up by New Bremen. Back set to Jones, she'll bump it across, catch a couple blockers and drop. Well, I don't know how you, you, know, you, you obviously want to hit it over their fingers, and sometimes when you hit their fingers, it makes it worse for the defense. Oh, I think it, it definitely makes it worse. So you can't really, you just got to have a feel for that and understand the, the, the defenders where they're at. And Good shot there from Carl. Jenna Carl gets the kill, and we're even at one here in the third. Carl, just the one kill in game number two. Very quiet offensively. Short serve by Jenna Carl. Caught New Bremen off guard. Here's Jones from a 10-foot line. Picked up by Agan. Set over to Stump. Is going to go deep and out of bounds. That'll send Macy put off back to serve for the Cardinals. You're just joining us, welcome to Wright State University. We're here at state semifinal action between Buckeye Central and New Bremen Cardinals. This one picked up by Jones, pushed across by Guttermiller. Here's Buckeye Central. Stump off the block, and that's gonna drop for a kill. A good effort there by New Bremen. A lot of room here at the Nutter Center, Greg, yeah, much like is. it was at Northmont for New Bremen, the, if you will, like a big end zone. A lot of right. room to run and not real sure what the limitations are as far as how far you go off the end of the court, but a lot of room to play here. It makes it a nice place to uh, for volleyball, relatively high ceiling. The only obstruction is about right in the middle of the court, which hasn't come into play yet. It's pretty high. Yeah. So Egan back to serve, waiting for the official, and I'm not sure what they're checking I on that think. last. Somebody went out, and now they have to make sure they know who the captain is, if that makes sense. And I'm not sure, honestly, if somebody went off, I, I can't remember. Or maybe it's just a lineup check. I think all the same players are out there for them. Check it on the Buckeye Central side. So it seems to be okay as they check back in. I didn't hear what they said over the mm. loudspeaker. I, two to two is the score. I do know that. <laughs> Here's Taylor Paul, the attack off the double block. Good save by Buckeye Central to get it back into play. 
Schneider passes it up front, back set to Guttemiller, across the block and down. Good shot by the senior, Julia Guttemiller, to put New Bremen back on top. Guttemiller had a real nice regional championship game against Fort Lormy. Good attack there, got a rhythm down to you know, the stutter step or the bang bang with the footwork and went down the line. Madison Pape just checked in for New Bremen. Also with her, Claire Pape. Madison set to serve. Picked up by Carl. Back set over to Stump. Snyder with the dig. Pape sets up Jones from a 10 foot line. It's blocked at the net, but stays on the Buckeye Central side for the kill. So that was a bang bang play there. Wasn't even sure if it cleared the net. Point New Bremen. Jones, her second kill of game three. Pape serves, just gets across, picked up quickly by Stump and knocked across. Snyder with another nice dig, very busy as always. Jones pushes it across, picked up Buckeye Central, blocked the net. A loose ball is gonna drop on the New Raymond side for a Buckeye Central point. So that came off of number two, Emily Stump. New Bremen trying to keep it alive, but just out of their reach. Good effort by the New Bremen defense. Big serve here is right now, Greg, each team, game one, Buckeye Central got out on top early. Game two, New Bremen got on top early. Right now, still somewhat even here early in game three. Jones with a nice dig there. Quick set to Kramer, missed time, blocked. Jones, though, able to track it down as New Bremen pushes it across. And it'll be called for the double hit. So we're even here in set number three at four apiece. So back to serve is number four, Ackerman. Kramer with the dig. Pushed over to Taylor Paul. Across the blocker, picked up by Carl. Quick set, stump, picked up by Pape. Passed over to Claire Pape. Across the block and down for the kill. 5'10", freshman, just gonna say, first kill. Yeah, big shot by the freshman. Several that play here for New Bremen. Don't yeah. think her setter, I think that came from Jones, if I remember right, so. It wasn't her sister that gave her the set, but nonetheless, a, a kill for the Cardinals. Egan with the pickup, pushed across by Carl. Pape with the dig, Kramer backs at the Jones. Jones down, dug up nicely by Egan. She does a nice job in the back row. Stump pushes it across. Kramer, another back set to Jones. This time she'll dump it across and that one will drop, the change of pace. You know, at times it almost seems like the harder driven attack by Jones is easier to defend. I don't mean that, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting Egan's in the back row doing a nice job, then they hit one softly and it's like a those change are, up. You swing three times yeah, before the ball are, crosses home plate. <laughs> those are timing off for sure. Yeah, and why major league pitchers need to mix their speeds up because the hitters will be able to read and pick it up just like your defenders here. They will read the arm swing and read the ball. Quick set at the net, blocked by Pate. Back on Buckeye Central side, double hit called. So a little momentum for New Bremen as they now lead seven to four here in set number three. Probably our biggest lead maybe of game three. It definitely is. They've only led by two is the biggest up to this point. So seven four advantage. Kramer now back to serve. Egan again to pick up. Pushed over to Stump, big swing picked up by Kramer. Pushed over to Jones. Jones gets a big swing, goes out of bounds, looking for a tip. It's called out of bounds. So point for Buckeye Central. As they substitute in number 13, Olivia Nice. I believe seeing her first action of the night. Number two stump with the serve, picked up by Jones. Set over to Pape, mishandles that one. So back to back points by Buckeye Central gets us back to within one. You mentioned the biggest lead and now the Buckettes have come back with some big points and both on New Bremen hitting errors. Jones with the dig, quick set to Jones, through the block and down for the kill. And a nice change of pace there, usually with Buck, or, uh, New Bremen they go to the outside a lot with Jones, they do a quick set there in the middle. And she's able to hammer that one home and push the 8-6 advantage. Here's Taylor Paul with the serve. Picked up by Stump. Knocked across by Carl down the line and in. Carl, nice swing. Both line judges, it was in on the length and it was in on the side. So good swing by 
Again, first team All-Ohio player, Jenna Carl, a 5'7 senior. Here's Capel with the serve, picked up by Jones. Again, gonna go back to the middle set. She dumps it to the side, picked up by Buckeye Central, knocked across by Carl. Kramer, back set to Jones. Tough shot, picked up by Stump again in the back. Carl with the dump, and she gets it across the block for the kill, and just like that, we're even at eight. Back-to-back -back big plays by Jenna Carl, and right when the Buckets needed probably the biggest plays, they've gone to their leader, and she's, re she's rewarded them with two points. Jones again, serve, back to Jones. Far side picked up by Capel. They're gonna go back to Carl. Kramer this time though with the dig. Far side, Jones down the line and out. A good comeback for Buckeye Central. After trailing by three, they've outscored the Bremen now probably about what, six to one, I think. It was seven to three at the time, maybe? Or seven to four, seven maybe? Seven to four, yep. So five to one. Another nice defensive play. Buckeye Central had to push that one across. Blocked at the net. And back on the Buckeye Central side. Here's Carl again. Jones picks it up close to the net. Get it back to her. Hits it deep. Dug up by Songer. Macy put off waiting on it. Knocks it home for New Bremen. Her first kill. And a big one right there to end that big momentum run for and Buckeye was, Central. Looks so easy, but when that ball is coming at you, you have to make sure you, you know, obviously stay out of the net. Don't hit it too early. I think it has to break the plane. A lot of things going on, and the ball is like a big old, you know, dinner plate right there. You don't want to make a mistake and put off do a nice job finishing it. There's another shot by Jenna Carl. She's starting to heat up. She Buckeye is. Central goes back up by one. Heating up is right. Four kills, probably three of them, if not maybe all four. Three of them for sure have been very recently. They're about to pass maybe four or five points she's come up with have been a result of her kills. Songer with the serve, picked up by Jones. Jones far side, off the block and down. So a couple big points there by New Bremen. Gets it back even at 10. Yeah, she continues to do well, a score 10-10. Jones with the short serve, picked up by Egan, pushed over again to Carl, and she sees the double block and lays it easily over the top. Well, number five, Jenna Carl records her fifth kill, and you said it the best, Greg. She's kind of doing what she wants in that left front corner. She's hit it hard, she's hit it down the line, she's done a, a tip over the blockers, and maybe for De Bremen, a good thing she goes to the back row, but she's very active on that save. And a big shot there by Evac as it drops for the kill. And now Buckeye Central up by two. Their biggest lead here of the second, oh, sorry, the third. They trail by three and have had a good run back, a good comeback. I was just going to say, New Bremen needs someone else to step up. They obviously are going to Jones, and it's effective. But it's tough to win at this level with one person. So nice recovery there as Kramer gets the kill, and New Bremen trails by one. Macy put off with the serve, catches the tape, and Stays somehow high. Buckeye Central gets a hand on it on a great serve. This one going back to Guttermiller. She gets it down the line, and it's tipped, I believe, at the Touch. net for the kill. Guttermiller again, that nice little hop hop going down the right side with that right hand, able to get the touch of a Buckeye defender. Buckeye Central checking with the top referee. To no avail, and we're even at 12s. Macy put off again with the serve. Caught the tape on the last one. Caught the net on this one. Caught the net on that one. First service error of the of the game number three for the Cardinals. They had three in game one, five in game number two. A, a game they actually won. I mean, you'd think it'd be the other way. And commit now just their first here in game number three. Egg in short, low line serve. Picked up here is Paul down the line. And out, looked like it was tipped. Wow, that clearly looked tipped on the back side. As that one is called out of bounds, we'll see the replay, see if we can catch it in the back row because it looked like it was tipped by the Buckeye Central player. Hard to see on that one, doesn't matter. Matters more on the court as the momentum has went to Buckeye Central. Emily Stump there to take care of the overpass, records her third kill. And also a three-point lead. That's an awkward serve by Aiden, yeah, isn't she it? She takes that little running one-stepper. This is Guttermiller 
ending the run at a big point right there as you can feel the momentum and maybe frustration might yeah. be the better word as New Bremen able to knock that one home and trail now just by two. And yeah, a big point there, you pull back to within two. It's, you know, there's, there's only one point at a time. You hate to get down by too much and New Bremen will give it right back. I mentioned just their first service here, the serve before, but now that's back to back. Their second of the game three. So out of give a serve, back to Buckeye Central. Here is number four, Ackerman, picked up by Jones. Back set to Jones from the 10 foot line, dug up again by Buckeye Central. Three ball to cross, Jones with the dig. Quick set, Kramer mishandled, nice save by New Bream and, and it goes just out of bounds. Nice dig by Paul, but you said kind of a desperation. Mm -hmm. Couldn't control it well enough and just misses the sideline. And momentum clearly on the Buckeye Central side. New Bremen looking to put an end to that as they serve right at Jones again. Far side to go back to her. Picked up partially by Carl and a great save. And wow. Buckeye Central making them work for every point Good here defense. at set number three. Here's Jones again. She'll push it across. Egan gets a handle on it. And now it's dumped across. Jones with the dig. Back set to Pape. Far side picked up by Carl and dumped that time into the net. You see, and we've seen this against New Bremen. I'm not saying this is happening, but it seems like they wear teams down. As you saw, Stump hit that ball and she had no legs already as we're halfway through the third, a little past the halfway point in the third set. Good defensive teams force consistency. If you can't swing consistently, you're gonna make errors and whether she was tired or just got out of rhythm, it, it was clearly a missed hit. And I'm sure that wears on you as a hitter. You don't want to get it blocked. You don't take a full swing. You don't hit it out, and then it goes in the net. Nice Jones, play by Egan again. Egan can get her hand on everything, it seems, right now. This one pushed over to Jones, and she mishits that one down the line and out of bounds. Right idea, and she's frustrated. I think she'd like to have that one back twice. She's gone down that left line and just cut it or pushed it, if you will, to the left a little too much. Big point for Buckeye Central. They, they do an excellent job keeping the ball alive. Give them credit, I mean, Bremen right there with him, but it's almost who's gonna break first. Jones gets that one off the tip and in. So New Bremen, big answer as they trail by three here, 15 to 18 in set number three. Jones, six kills. I'm a little off with maybe what the board has. They are now down as 32 total kills. I've got her at 29. I was just gonna say that's a tough one to pull away from the net, and usually where you get called for a double hit. And you and I have trouble picking that up, but I, I could have whistled that one pretty obvious there. <laughs> and being a back row player, you can't clear the top of the net and hit it over, so you're really limited on trying to bring the ball back legally. It's a very difficult. That's why it's very important that first touch is, is so important to get your offense started. Big block with Buckeye Central again. Wow, gets her hands on it as number 13, Olivia Neese will be credited for the kill. Nice hasn't played a lot, records her first kill, and you thought Nebremen had the block, the termination block. Buckeye Central kept it alive. Make a great save. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be back in just a moment. You're watching High School Volleyball on NKTL Go Sports. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Welcome back to Wright State University. We're in set number three here. Each team won the, uh, one here in the first two. So this is the rubber match so far in the early part of this five set of match. And uh, Buckeye Central top 19-16. Buckeye Central's defense has kept them alive this set. As they try to defend that one, Jones though able to knock it down for the kill. Good. Good result, if you will, following that timeout. That was a difficult point to give up. That would have put Buckeye Central at that mythical 20 number. Yep. New Bremen in big need of a, a little run here to get themselves back into set number three. And I'd like to see them get on top, but 
so far. They've had to fight for every point, looking to put a couple together here. They go back to Jones, and it's dug up in the back row by Stump. Quick set, picked up nicely by New Bremen. Kramer backs that over to Jones again. Far side down. She gets a clean one there, and New Bremen now trailing just by one at 19 to 18. I've got her down for eight kills, and more importantly, it brings New Bremen back to within one with just six points remaining for Buckeye Central. It'll be nice to get a tie here. Get it to 19, put the pressure on the Buckettes. Good serve by team, and then she gets a dig great, here. Great first touch. Jones, 10-foot shot, picked up by Ackerman, and now pushed across by Carl. Jones read it all the way, picks it up. They go to Guttermiller. She tips across, picked up by Aiken. Pushed deep. Nice hand there, and going to be free ball across by Teeman. Defense going to have to step up here. Carl pushes that one deep and down. You can see it when it was coming to her. She saw it all the way. Good read by number five, Jenna Carl. Her sixth kill, big termination, or not termination, big earned point there by Buckeye Central. 20 to 18 here in pivotal game number three. Songer serve, picked up by Jones. Set over to Jones. Across the block, picked up by Stump. And knocked across. Teeman with the dig for New Bremen. They go back to Jones on the opposite side. Picked up again, this time by Carl. Nice play, Schneider. Bremen, Guttermiller, opposite side, picked up there by Songer. Both teams defending very well. Carl across the block, dug up by Schneider. Back to Jones. Jones dumps it across and finally gets the point for New Bremen. And it's a big one as they, again, get back to within one at 2019. Again, these teams play defense so well, they know the spots to be in for normal attacks. Again, that was, I would say, a changeup. She hit it softer and it drops in front and they just flat out can't recover quick enough because they're expecting a, the harder attack. And a big break there, bubble hit called against Buckeye Central. And we are tied at 20. Here in the pivotal third. Well, five points remain. The winner is going to take a, an advantage, two to one in the match. So sit back. We got an interesting final five points. Jones serve, picked up by Egan, pushed over to Carl. Sees the double block and can't get it. Is New Bremen. A big point there taken by Buckeye Central. Put it in the right spot as New Bremen even maybe read it like you saw, said, just could not close the, the distance quick enough. She laid that right across the double block. This one going to Kramer, returns the favor. Nice save though by Songer. Blocked again at the net by New Bremen. Jones, she'll pop it up for Guttermiller. Guttermiller doesn't clear the net and back to back points for Buckeye Central. Gives them a two point cushion here in that race to five. Short serve picked up by Putoff. Set down the middle to Jones. Jones shot goes clear through. Been in. A tip at the net by Buckeye Central. Take another look here, see once what we come up with. I thought it was in when it hit the floor. Tough to see, doesn't matter on our end anyway. Buckeye, or New Raymond gets a point, trailing by one. Ackerman, that one's going to be out of bounds, and we're even again at 22. Good comeback after that 2020 game. Buckeye Central goes up two. Bremen battles back. Buckeye Central takes a timeout. We'll keep it right here as you get a great shot of the new Bremen huddle. I'd like to again thank our sponsors for tonight's action. Fowler's TV, German Farmers, Francis Furniture, Grand Lake Health, Moran's Refrigeration, Minster Bank, Sweeterman's Pharmacy, Keyhole Pizza, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental, Westaff, Hometown Opportunity, Lamb's Insurance Agency, 21st Century Kitchens, American Trim, NKT Productions, and Upper Valley Career Center. Boy, Jeff, you see, you know, again, a great shot of the huddle there. New Bremen evens it up at 22. This has been that point that's escaped them this whole match, that point to get yep. the momentum back and be ahead. It seems like every time this has happened, Buckeye Central's been able to get it here in the uh, third set. So hopefully for New Bremen, they can get a string here together. It'll be nice to see them string three to take this third set, but we'll see how big, it plays out. Big serve right here. It's step one, put the step ball in one. play. Macy put off serve is in, Deep and pass. it's an ace. That's a big one. There's that risk reward we talked about. 
as they go back on top. Macy put off, but you said it. Step get number it two. In. Step two is keep it in. Put it in play again. And then your defense can go to work. Put off, back to serve again. Another good serve. Aiken able to handle a little better. Free Still ball. Free ball coming. Play it, use it. Jones digs it. Back set to Gutta Miller. Gutta Miller across the block, picked up by Carl. And a double hit called as New Bremen now up by two. Big point here, good chance to take the third set. Timeout coming again. We're gonna keep it right here. Don't wanna miss any of this action. And we mentioned it, 22 all. Bremen finally able to get that little run together. Two great serves by Macy Putoff. Hoping they can serve a third one here. This is a big, big momentum part of this match. Remember, it was tied at 20-20, and then New Bremen had a couple, I think, mistakes, or I know um, Carl maybe got a kill under. They went up 22-20, so now New Bremen's run off four straight. Yeah, they took that timeout a while back at 19-16, if you remember, and they made a nice little run to get it back to, like you said, 20, 20. 20 all, made a nice run there. You're right. Looking so they, to cap off a run here. They've, they've come up with some big plays. That's right. Kind so of when it matters, they all matter, but. When you get but down it, to the nitty gritty, you need right. to be mistake free. It's enough. volleyball, it has to come at the right time and this will be a huge one here as we're back to action. Macy put off again, serving, trying to serve it out for New Bremen here in set number three. Here's put off serve and it catches the top of the tape. As momentum shifts a little bit there, New Bremen though looking still here, got a, a, a set point at 24-23. That'll send the little barrow, Bailey Egan, back to serve. Picked up by Kramer, backs at the Jones at the 10-foot line. Jones shot, wow. again dug out. Dug up by New Bremen, picked up, misplayed and almost Kept drops, but they still seem to come up with those little loose balls. New Bremen with a chance. Here's Jones, 10-footer, takes it off. Picked up by Ackerman and knocked across by Carl. Jones with the dig, good opportunity here. Jones, 10 foot line, shot blocked and down. Set number three goes to the Cardinals. They take it 25-23 and take a two to one lead here in this match. As you see it again, great setup. And Jones with the delivery. Can't say it any better than that. You're watching high school volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Minster Dental Care continues to offer advanced dental technology in a state-of-the-art facility. Our professional team offers experience in general dentistry and orthodontics, including services such as CERA and wireline orthodontics. Board-certified pediatric dentist Dr. Philip Slonkowski ensures our littlest patients have a positive, safe, and a comfortable experience. We are unconditionally committed to excellence in everything we do. As a business owner, do you find yourself reviewing too many applications or are you the job seeker filling out dozens of applications in an attempt to find employment? West Staff has been bridging the gap between employers and employees since 1988. Jobs range from manufacturing and clerical to specialized fields such as quality control and engineering. West Staff has the ability to operate as your company's entire HR department or simply payroll employees on a attempt to hire basis. West Staff, your partner in business. Welcome back to Wright State University as we just got through a very exciting set number three and New Bremen able to take it and get on top two sets to one. And to make a couple of comebacks in that game number two after getting an early lead, Buckeye Central took over, led as you, again, late in a set, I believe it was, you said 19 to 16, something 19, to that 16. effect. And New Bremen come back, tied up at 20 apiece and fall down 22-20 and then win. And so a good momentum game, if you will, an elimination game now for the Buckettes of Buckeye Central. And there's a good set by uh, hit by Macy Putoff and Buckeye Central keeping up their trend of getting the balls as that first serve by Jones catches the tape and they still get it and a great save by Noss <laughs> by Songer but nobody reacted yeah, to it. Yeah, it's so odd. It, they made a great first touch and everyone just kind of. I think they were a little shocked she yeah, got it. It's, it was a, <laughs> it was like, what a make great sure game. she was okay, I guess. But yeah, kind of a flat-footed second attack, if you will. No one could get to it. Wheel route picked up by Teeman. Jones back set to Guttermiller. Deep shot is effective and that'll drop. A good vision there by Julie Guttermiller gets New Bremen out to a big 2 0 advantage here in set number four. Yeah, it had visions of, of sailing long, but it, it caught a hand and 
Couldn't control it, so a good start, good break, if you will, for the Cardinals. Cardinals looking to keep their foot on the gas pedal. This one pushed over to Carl. Picked up by team and off the block. Back set to put off as it miss hit a little bit and goes deep. He's being a miss hits, Greg. We talked off air in Bremen in game three, 11 errors. That's the most they've had all this <laughs> match, but their kills keep increasing. They finish set three with 17 kills. And a good block. tandem block. The block there by Buckeye Central. Evens us up at two. Evac and also Ackerman combine on that termination block, evened at two right away. Or here back, the Buckeye Central comes. Back set to Gutta Miller. Picked up by Carl in the back row for the Buckeye Central Buckets. Down the line, another nice dig by Teeman. Tracked down by Jones and again pushed across by Gutta Miller. Wheel route. Too far as Evac can't get to it. Just, yeah, the timing now there ran out of room. It's odd, they've been very successful, very good. They made very good contact. That time, no contact at all, but that wheel route, the slide's been very, very good for them so far tonight. Put off looking to keep the serving going like she did late in the third set. Gets another one across there. Paul with the shot across, pushed up by. Carl and dug up by Paul on the New Bremen side. Popped up for Jones. Down the rape and Egan able to get her hands on it, but not able to track it down. Boy, number 20 for Buckeye Central. If you don't know who Egan is, she's got her hands on a lot of balls. Not able to get enough of that one as Jones records another kill. Bailey Egan, a 5-5 five five senior, has again, has been in the right place at the right time tonight. A lot of times keeping the attacks of the Cardinals in play. Blocked at the net by Paul and put off. Kept on the new rim inside. Popped up for Paul, and she gets it off the block and down. New Bremen had a little con conflict, if you will, after <laughs> yeah. I think it was uh, Gottemiller bumped it, couldn't, and then bumped it to team team and was trying to run around, the, run around the Rosie, if you will, and they was able to get to <laughs> Paul, who gets her first kill of game four. Put off, keeping the serves coming. Aiken, though, able to dig that one. Here is Stump. Jones with the dig. Back set to Guttermiller. Across the block, picked up by Carl. Well, it'll miss too much on that Buckeye Central side. New Bremen, likewise, returning the favor. Down the pipe is Jones, and that one's going to sail out of bounds. You'll take that if you're Coach Kramer. Good defense, good offense. Just didn't catch the line. Yep, it's pretty, pretty good, uh, aggressive mistake, if you will. Yep, and that's definitely their MO. The little knuckler by Aiken. Great save by New Bremen. But the free ball goes out of bounds. And now a one point game here in set number four. Egan serve picked up by Jones. Set over to Paul. Paul down the line, great in. shot and in. Two big points there for New Bremen coming from Paul. Bremen keeps that lead up by two. Again, elimination game for Buckeye Central. They've been here 11 times in the state tournament in volleyball. They won it twice in 96 and 93. As we said earlier, and Bremen making their first ever trip to state. Wheel route timing off there again by Buckeye Central. That one goes into the net. And New Bremen out to their biggest lead in the fourth set here at seven to four. Coach Kramer in her second season. Coach Nye, her third season. Wheel route, they'll go with it again and blocked to the net again by New Bremen. Popped up to Carl and bumped across. Pape, now Jones, going back over to Claire Pape and she gets it in for a kill. Good defense to offense there by New Bremen. Nice angle, good difficult swing for Pape out of the right front, but boy, hit nice shot right at us. I mean, there was no one there and clean, crisp hit, difficult to stop. This one pushed back, Stumps drops it across, and it is in. They've got that little short shot down well here tonight, has Buckeye Central. And Emily Stump credited for the kill. Number four, Ackerman back to serve for Buckeye Central. Picked up by Kramer. We go back to Paul, and it's dug up by Egan. Miscommunication there by Buckeye Central is that one falls in. Well, the first touch not quite controlled good enough. And the setter was on this side of the court, couldn't run it down. Three kills for Taylor Paul here just in game number four. Kramer serving now as that one won't get close to clearing the net. 
The service error cuts the lead back to three. New Bremen had three service errors in game one, five in game two, three in game three, and one here in game number four. Buckeye Central in four games has had one service one. error. That's why they serve at 95% as a team. Jones down the middle, gets another kill. And I can't say Buckeye Central serving has been soft. I mean, there's, they serve it, you know, they, they go at it, but um, Bremen, you know, they try to put a little bit more spin on it, if you will, a little bit more top spin. They tref definitely try to apply the pressure to the defense. To the defense. Get a good first touch with this ball coming a little bit faster than what you like. And right now, New Bremen would like to get some offensive serves, if you will, consecutive serves, and try to grow this four-point lead. This one popped up down the middle, tracked down by Kramer. We're gonna give that back to Jones. Jones off the block will get the kill. Four kills in game four for Paige Jones. New Bremen up to a five-point advantage here at set number four at 11 to six on our first National Bank scoreboard. Taylor Paul serving again, catches the tape. It does not phase mm. Buckeye Central one bit. Nice save there by Pape. Goes back on the Buckeye Central side. Here is Carl. That one's gonna get by Kramer for the kill. Carl had a, her first kill here in game number four. She had Four in game one, one, just one in game number two. Came back with a strong game number three, getting seven. So with the one here, 13 kills for the first team All-Ohio, Jenna Carl. Capel serve, picked up, pushed over to Macy Putoff, dug up by Stump in the back row. Here is Carl, she'll dump it across. Nice save by Pape, but again back on the Buckeye Central side. Evac shot, dug up, popped up here for Jones. Across the block. And picked up, I think we have a net violation. net violation. Thank you. And now New Bremen back to that five point advantage. 12-7 here in the fourth set. New Bremen leads two sets to one here in the state semifinal. Teaming with the serve. Popped up by Stump, right down the middle to Evac. Cuts off the blocker and in. Evac. Her first kill, Greg, she's, I won't say been quiet, but she started off the match very aggressively. Six kills, a lot of those wheel routes. So after set one with the six, she went three, one, and now one. So she's, New Bremen's been able to corral her maybe a little bit more, get some hands on her attacks. Songer's serve, picked up. Jones knocks it across. Popped up here on the far side over to Carl. She'll dump it over. Jones tracks it down. Set up here to Gutta Miller. She'll go across the block, but... Egan tracks it down. New Bremen with a good chance here. Teeman, back set. Gutta Miller across the block, picked up this time by Stump. Carl back on the attack, and New Bremen returns the defensive favor. He'll pop this one up to Jones. She'll push it deep, and Egan will track it down. Blocked at the net and just out of bounds. So good play by Buckeye Central. Long volley again. It's just amazing how well these first touches basically go right up in the air towards the setter, let them run it down. Some good action and a, a good earned point for the Buckeye Central Buckettes. That one will catch the net, but it sails out of bounds, so break there for New Bremen. Just their second service error in four games. Gets them back to a four-point lead. You know, one thing I haven't noticed too much for either team or either team is the setters, like, on that second hit, like, trying to dump it over. I don't know. I just was curious. You know, yeah, they haven't done it much. You're right. Maybe not at all, either side. This one goes back to put off and put off as it hits the net on the, the antenna on the Buckeye Central side. The point will go to New Bremen. It went off the Buckeye Central block, so then that becomes a point for New Bremen. She did not hit the antenna on her attack. It came off the Buckeye's block attempt. And there is a super placement by Paige Jones. She came into the set with match, I should say, with 106 aces on the year. Make that 107. That'll lead to a timeout. We'll take a break as well. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? 
NK Telco has a solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber commercial or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. Welcome back to Wright State. As we're here in the fourth set, you get a good shot of the new Raymond team coming back out after a timeout. They've gotten back up to their biggest lead here in the fourth set, leading by six. Again, definitely now the momentum on the Raymond side and keep the throttle down. Ten points remain to move on to the state championship game. That will be played against the winner of the next game between St. Thomas Aquinas or Fair Fairfield Christian Academy. That one service goes into the net. And this has been that place, you're right. They've had that momentum, and now can they finish with that momentum? Here is Carl with the serve. Dug up by put off, pushed the net to Kramer, blocked at the net, back on the New Bremen side. Guttermiller blocked again, picked up this time. Back this time, they'll go to Jones. She dumps it across the blocker for an easy kill. Because there was nobody in the middle there. I've got her now down as 40. The board above us has her at 43 kills. It's a bunch either way. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Put off now serving for New Bremen with a six point lead. Back set, wheel route, dug up by Put off. Nice defense. I think they're gonna be called for a double hit there. Haven't had many of those tonight as New Bremen is typically uh, pretty yeah, uh, maybe got him for five and that's not necessarily double hits but basically four or five double hits ball handling errors so clean job and likewise Buckeye Central very clean on that aspect of the game as well Jones tries to save that one an egg and serve drops for an ace there's a big point coming up here as the lead has been cut to four egg in her first ace of the night she has a, a different style maybe a you Catch probably you. shouldn't watch her delivery when you're playing defense. I mean, seriously, because yeah. it'll throw you off. It's really a weird timing. It's not normal, but um, it's all about timing. And a great placement right there by Taylor Paul. She's had a solid night as a hitter. Yeah, she's played, come up big in games two and four. Three kills in game number two, now four in game number four. And back to a five-point lead for the Cardinals. Serve across there by Pape. Popped up to Stump. Gets across the block, dug up by Snyder, tracked down by Pape. Jones from a 10 foot line, drops it short, picked up by Carl. Stump blocked, but it falls on the bream inside for a kill. Stump, her second kill of game number four. So they're going to need a, some offense now themselves. Will Buckeye Central trying to get into this, what was a five point deficit? They served the ball very well to force Bremen to play it. That one deep. Picked up by Kramer, now popped up to Jones as that one's gonna sail out of bounds. And the lead now cut the three at 17 to 14. Big points here, this is where New Bremen made their run last game. Hopefully they can do it here again. Need to get a good first touch and get into offense. This one popped up, Jones will bump it across, Egan again. Just one arm bandit putting it right to the setter. And New Bremen fighting to keep theirs alive is able to do it. Carl sets it up to stump. Big swing, drops in for a kill. Good run by the Buckets. Coach Kramer, I think Greg will take a timeout. The Bremen needs to stop the run. We'll take one as well. You're watching high school volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Uh, we knew that we could use hometown opportunity as an avenue to reach out to people, not just in this community, but across the state. Hometown opportunity was my saving grace, honestly. We viewed it as a, a great resource for us to get the word out about our company. I saw all the commercials, billboards, and I thought, just give it a shot, why not? And they offered me a photography job on the spot, which was really because I've been searching for months. The Hometown Opportunity website definitely makes that connection. We're at set number four here at Wright State University, state semifinal action. New Bremen leads two sets to one, but Buckeye Central on a big run here. Well, it's been that way all game. Nothing's been easy. Buckeye Central's defense has been very, very aggressive. They really make New Bremen work for their points, and they battled back here. Again, elimination game for them. They've got to come up with a, a turnaround here to force a game five. And New Bremen trying to make sure that doesn't happen. They pop this one up to Jones, and Ackerman able to get a handle on it. 
mishandled and bumped across. And Abrema gonna have another good chance here. Quick set, Kramer dug up again by Ackerman and pushed over and dumped into an open spot. What an unbelievable defensive play, and we have a one-point game. Wow, good defense again by the Buckets. It seemed like Nebreman had the throttle down. I thought they had the point like three times in a row there, and somehow and they got their hand on the ball. I believe a stump with the dump on the other side for the point, a big one. So Nebreman looking to answer. They need one right here. They'll go back to Jones. She dumps it over the block and in. So great answer by New Bremen as they've got a two-point advantage here at 18 to 16. Rachel Kramer back to serve. Good answer with Jones getting her seventh kill of game four. A couple points here could go a long way for New Bremen. Like you said, do the first step, get it in. They did here. Popped up, this one's gonna go to the far side. Nice save by Rachel Kramer. Popped up to Jones, she'll bump it through. Dug up by Carl. Stump, blocked at the net, and it goes down. Big, big block there by New Bremen. I, Believe it was Rachel Kramer. Claire Pape and Paige Jones, 12 Thank and 10. You. Went up, I believe Pape probably got into contact, but Jones went up with her. First Nine. block for points here in game four for New Bremen. 19-16, Kramer big serve, gets it across. Picked up, going to go over the far side to number 15. I think that's Pfeiffer, 16. Jones with a knuckleballer somehow dug up by uh, Ackerman and pushed over way out of bounds as New Bremen gets back-to-back -back points and now leads by four, 2016. That's gonna take us to a timeout. We'll keep it here. And we talked about those momentums. New Bremen able to get two big ones right there again to push to a four-point lead. As you see a great shot into their huddle and hoping to get some strong heat together and not go to that fifth set. They're right now in control and you know you need to just come out and get the ball into play for us. And Buckeye Central to make the play, make them right. earn it. Buckeye Central has played a clean game. They've committed five errors in game one and six, six, and four. So they don't make many mistakes. They, they, they keep the ball in play. They force you to get frustrated, maybe over swing or under swing. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough point here. You know, for the Bremen, a five-point lead, if they get this point with just four to go, would be a lot different than just a three-point lead. You know, it's so critical now here as we wind down on what's at stake for the Cardinals. To obviously, win game four and, and move on to Saturday. That would be great as New Bremen hoping that happens. Here is Rachel Kramer with the serve. It's a good one, picked up deep by Carl and dumped across by Stump, and it looks like it's gonna drop, and it does. So timeout works for Buckeye Central. And 5'8", senior number two, Emily Stump has had a huge match, a huge game number four as well. She's come up big here. She leads her team and kills in this set with four. She now goes to the back row and serves, but that means Jenna Carl moves to the front row. And Bremen, quick attack by Jones, pushes it to the far side, pulled up, picked up by Ackerman. Here is Carl, knocks it across, mishandled by Kramer. That one's gonna sail out of bounds, and again, just a two-point lead. So back-to-back -back hitting errors, or some more receiving errors right. on New Bremen gives some life back to the Buckets. Serve picked up by Jones, quick hit gonna go right to her. She dumps it across, is picked up by Egan and knocked out of bounds. So a break there for New Bremen. And it's a big one as they now have a three point advantage. Not something like you said that Buckeye Central does very often, but the hit miss hit one there. Here's Taylor Paul, one of New Bremen's better servers. And it's a good one here. She records another ace. Second of the night for Taylor Paul. And you mentioned, yeah, serving wise, maybe not aces. She does have 45, make it now 47 on the season. Just under 90% as a server. Another good one, picked up though by Stump, but it's gonna be three ball. Great chance here for New Bremen. Popped up by Kramer. Pate sets up Jones, good night. Forget about that one. New Bremen now just two points away from a state final appearance as you see the replay. Yeah, difficult to stop. Again, good approach. Downward angle into that open spot in the corner. Two points remain. Taylor Paul is served for New Bremen. Another good one. It eats up the serve as see, but it's an ace. And New Bremen tasting it as they're now just one point away from taking this match. Buckeye Central, 18. out of timeout. They try to do the unintentional timeout with a substitution to try to slow down the momentum here, but 
Right now, New Bremen in control. And the faithful coming to life here as they're waiting to see this one play out, hoping from Taylor Paul. It's dug up by Agan, pushed over to Carl, tipped at the net. Nice save by Pape. Bumped up to Jones, looking to finish it. Agan again wow. gets a hand on it. Pops it up, here is Carl. Carl shot, picked up nicely by Kramer. Pop it again, We're gonna go Jones another time, down the line, and Good play stump. by Stump. This defense will not stop. Free ball to cross, New Bremen popped up. Pape, Jones, tips it across, this time picked up by Ackerman, and free ball to cross again. Paul popped it up, we're gonna go Jones for a third straight time, and that'll do it. Down it goes, New Bremen takes the fourth. 25-18 and the match, they win it three sets to one as you see a very excited New Bremen team on the floor. They will make their first state final appearance this Saturday here back at Wright State University to see the final shot there from Paige Jones who had a big game. We'll be back to talk about that with our post game recap as you get a great shot of the two teams shaking hands there at the end. We'll keep it here for a minute just to yeah, see. Yeah, just to see the excitement level. Again, the first trip ever here to state. They're going to prolong that invitation, if you will. Come back on Saturday, and we will not be able to cover that game, I'm pretty sure. So this will be our last visit, you know, through NK Telco. So congratulations, Cardinals. And when you're ready now, we'll take it away. we we'll come back with a good times here at the Nutter Center for the Cardinals. And the great part, the players running in behind us here to greet the fans. What a great way to go out. We'll take a quick break and be back with our post-game wrap-up. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. For over 27 years, the knowledgeable, reliable, and experienced staff at Lamb's Insurance Agency has been providing superior auto and home insurance to the people of West Central Ohio and Indiana. The team's understanding of the agricultural community and farming operations is second to none. We support the local communities because we are, well, local. If you are looking for excellent claim service, stop by or call today for your quote. Lamb's Insurance Agency, representing Ohio Mutual Insurance Group. At 21st Century Kitchens, we know that every home has a style to go with it. From first-time home buyers to families with the pitter-patter of little feet, to teenagers taking over the kitchen, 21st Century has what you want customizing the style, layout, and price point to fit your budget. Kitchens by Craftmade and Quality Cabinets, countertops by Wilson Art and Cambria, along with availability of granite, marble, and wood. See what's in store behind the yellow door for your 21st Century Kitchen. American Trim's story started in 1951, and our long family legacy continues today. We are a third-generation family-owned business with locations in Sydney and Walpaw, and we're hiring for manufacturing positions on first, second, and third shifts. Part-time and full-time positions are available for entry-level and skilled individuals. Please apply at www.amtrim.com or in person. American Trim is a proud sponsor of high school sports and our communities. Come be part of our story. The best part of my experience at Upper Valley is getting to know different teachers and the way they teach. So you learn a lot about how college is going to be in the future. My name is Paige and I'm from the Exercise Science Program. Welcome back to Wright State University as the New Bremen Cardinals are victorious in the state semifinals here and will advance to their first state final ever here this coming Saturday here with our post-game stats is Mr. Jeff Henschen. Thank you, Greg. New Bremen did so today with a strong full throttle approach after a struggle in the first set to get started, if you will, really dug themselves a hole with some errors early on and really at that time no offense. From that middle of that game one on, they were full throttle, a lot of attacking. A lot of it came through Paige Jones, but in total they dominate the kill category. 62 kills in the four game set for the Cardinals. 62 compared to just 41. Buckeye Central attacked well, but it was more I felt they were on defense, receiving and keeping alive the Nebreman attacks. And uh, give Buckeye Central credit, they played a clean game uh, they only had 22 errors in the four-set match. New Bremen had 13 more. They had 35 errors. 
Um, a number of them coming from the service line, but again, risk reward to have a few right. mistakes. They did record five aces, so they, their aggressiveness paid off for the five service aces compared to just one ace for Buckeye Central. But all in all, just New Bremen withstood that relentless defensive effort by Coach Nye's squad, and they prevailed in a four game set with a three games to one win after losing game number one. Our player of the game. Tonight we'll go to New Bremen's senior, number 10, Paige Jones. I had her down as 43 kills, and looking at the record books, that is something in a four-game set, and it also matches or tops whatever happened in a five-game set. I think the board above me had her down for 46, so it's a bunch. it doesn't matter. She's um, Division Four. Actually, through all divisions, the most kills in any amount of sets played, so congratulations to Paige Jones. Unofficially 43 kills, a couple blocks. I want to also mention leading the way or helping that in that category. Taylor Paul had a nice game. A sophomore with seven kills, three service aces, a couple of them late in this, the deciding game, right. number four. In, in both those last two games, you're right. Rachel Kramer, a kill and an ace. Macy Putoff, four kills, an ace in the block. Julia Gottemiller, five kills in the block. Mention Paige Jones with a 43 blocks, or 43 kills and two blocks. And also Clara Pape donated a couple kills in a block for the the Bremen squad that now, as Greg mentioned, will come back on Saturday at 1 o'clock for the championship game against the winner of this next game, which will be uh, St. Thomas Aquinas. Aquinas versus Fairfield Christian Academy. Good and luck, I, New Bremen Cardinals. And I think the interesting part about when we talked about that first set was the score says 25-22. They were down 15-4. to four. Like, they looked like they never played volleyball this year. They really struggled out of the gate. I don't know if that was nerves or what it was, but a great rebound from that first set because it was not going well. But second, third, and fourth, much better. That New Bremen team we've seen all season, very good. Looking forward to, to watching this team play again on Saturday. And again, congratulations to Coach Diana Kramer and the New Bremen Cardinals to get a go to the state finals. That's going to do it for us here tonight. I'd like to thank... Our director, Isaac Sell. Our camera person, Daniel Allen. My partner, Jeff Henschen. I'm Greg Burning. Thanks for watching and have a great evening.